I was looking to buy an iPhone 11 Pro, but the used market was way too expensive. Bruh. That's too much monies. So, like everyone else during the pandemic, I went to Amazon. They had an iPhone 11 Pro listed for $775, which is $125 cheaper than the used market. But there was a catch. The phone was renewed, which is a fancy word for refurbished. Before I buy this phone, I have to check the reviews. This guy says when he received it, the front camera wasn't working. That's not very promising. Another guy just straight up said don't bother, and the phone was defective. Hmm. There was a lot of mixed reviews here, but the overall was still 5 stars, so naturally, I bought the phone. But before I use it, I'm going to make sure that I unscrew and open it up to see what's really going on on the inside. It has come. We got a package. So you guys saw my really cool intro, you know what this is already. It's an iPhone 11 Pro, but we need to see how well Amazon does when they renew their devices. So not only are we gonna check the outside of this device, we're also gonna go inside and see what they replaced, see how good of a job they did, and see if you guys should buy an Amazon renewed device. Let's open it up. We're gonna be using our iFixit Jimmy tool. did not come with the box, the normal box, but that's okay. Obviously it is refurbished. So this is the box it comes with. It's uh, an Amazon certified box. We're not really interested in the box though. We're interested in what's inside. So let's open this up. Let's get rid of this. It's time to see what's going on in this box. We're just gonna crank this open, get the box open. So this is a lot cheaper than the used market, like a lot cheaper. So hopefully we're not looking at anything, any defects that are too, too big. That's, that's the hope. So inside of that box, there's this plastic container with the charger and uh, a cube. It's pretty fat. And they also have the SIM ejector. So we're gonna take out the phone. Kind of a weird job with the wrapping. I feel like this back glass has been replaced, but I'm not 100% sure. The phone does feel really good though. It feels practically new. Um, I'm not seeing any scuffs, any marks on the actual, oh, it came with a screen protector too. Not bad. So I'm not seeing any scuffs or any marks on the actual phone. It looks clear. So I'm thinking they might've done a housing replacement. That's definitely possible. The screen protector was applied perfectly, which is really satisfying. There's no scuffs, no marks, which I wasn't expecting, but we both know the outside can be a little deceiving. So we're gonna turn it on, we're gonna do some checks, and then we're gonna open this up. So we turned on the phone. Everything looks great so far. I can't really seem to find any problems with this phone at all. Uh, what we did was we downloaded an app called Test M Hardware. And this app allows you to check every single aspect of the phone. So if you're buying a new phone and you have the time to download an app and they're giving you a lot of time to go through it, you should download this app and try it out. I'm going to show you guys why you're about to see. So it passed all the tests with flying colors. And you can see this app literally tests everything, the microphone, the earpiece, the front camera, literally every single thing that could and needs to be tested in a phone, it'll test it. But we're gonna put it through one more test. So basically this uh, next test allows us to see if the phone has been opened and anything's been changed without actually opening it up. So we're gonna use a tool called 3U Tools and that basically allows us to see if anything has been replaced, if the, if the board reads any serial numbers that are different than what they usually would be. So let's go do that and then we're gonna open this up. So we ran it through the tests and everything was normal except the rear camera. It said that it might have been changed. Also, the screen could have been changed as well. So let's open it up and find out. So we got all the software tests done. Now it's time to open this up and see what it looks like on the inside. Unscrew, open it up. And this device looks almost new. It looks like it hasn't been touched. Aside from some smudge marks I can see over here, 
they sealed the phone down really well. All the parts are where they should be. Uh, nothing really looks off. I'm impressed. Amazon, you did a good job. We're gonna unscrew and we're gonna dig a little deeper and see if we can find anything else. So this does look like an Apple original screen. A bit harder to tell with the newer models whether they're original or not, but this one could definitely pass as original. So far, this looks amazing. I can't see any signs that anyone's been in here aside from that smudging. I wanna take a look at the camera and see what kind of camera they installed. So the camera is original, as you can see. All the cameras they replaced are original. So they didn't swap any parts with any aftermarket parts. Everything seems to be original. That's really good. I'm honestly surprised. From those reviews, I thought I was gonna find something in here, but no, they definitely did a great job. And in my opinion, this might even be more worth it than a new one, because you know you're getting good quality parts and a phone that's already been serviced and checked versus a used one that hasn't been checked. I give this refurb job a 10 out of 10. I'm a happy customer. It was exactly as described, if not better. The battery health was good and the overall condition is great. Everything is working fine and I can't complain. The back cameras were replaced with original cameras and the screen was possibly replaced with an original screen as well. So overall, 10 out of 10, definitely more worth it than going used. And I'm happy with this, with this purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get that crunch. Crunch again.